And Emily, you talked to a woman who has started to already make big changes in the industry. Yes, yeah, she's doing some phenomenal work after her own journey and mm -hmm. recognizing uh, how few faces she was seeing that look like her. And so she's really doing some great work to change that on the seventh annual Dress for STEM Day. We're recognizing this West Michigan woman working to make the tech industry more diverse. She's a veteran in the industry and tells me there's more than one way to break into the field. I actually have the most boring career path to tech. Joanna Udo has been working in the tech industry for about 11 years. I went to college and I got a degree in computer networking and network security. Throughout that journey, I didn't see a lot of women in the workforce. I didn't see a lot of women of color. So even when I was being active in the community and going to all of these tech events around West Michigan, there just wasn't enough representation. After years of volunteer work to bring more diversity to the field, two years ago, she started Bridges in Tech. I prefer to think of it like a lifestyle program. Creating a safe space for women of color to express their interests in STEM-related careers, offering not just mentoring, coaching, and resume building, but the whole package. We bring everything together. We start with, by looking at you as a whole person and understanding the things that you enjoy doing, understanding what your goals are for your life, and then helping you identify a technology job that kind of meet all of those. Then helping you to fulfill the steps necessary in order to qualify for the job of your dreams, no matter your background. Tech is a very, very broad field and there is something for everyone uh, in the field. So your skill sets are needed and they're not all technical, analytical, and uh, mathematics oriented. For 13 on your side, I'm Emily Scarlett. And Joanna tells me that they're targeting women 25 and older to provide the support and resources that are often already being offered on college campuses.